Am I looking good? Okay. okay. <laughs> so, part two. Bit shorter. Let's talk a little bit <laughs> faster. Um, a little bit about other cross stitching stuffs I have done, I have bought, and would like to do. Um, again, sorry about all the noise out there, but the kids are out playing. So, <clears throat> I know in the beginning of the year I showed you some of my poison garden. Um, I don't remember if I have showed you where I, where I am at now. I think I have, but I will show you because Poison Garden, the Chatelaine Poison Garden is just so beautiful. So I will just have to show you. So I've finished all the um, arches and I'm about to start in the two corners and there's some black work and stuff and I'm a little bit worried about that because I've never done it before but um yeah it's so beautiful and I always want to go back to my poison garden and I don't know why I don't because this is definitely a design I could finish not in no time I'm not gonna uh -uh. but it's um, it's absolutely doable you know uh, if you just stick to that one <coughs> design and Yeah, you shouldn't keep it maybe in the scroll frame like I do, like this. Um, but I cover it up, all of it. Just put it back here. So that's that. And then I think I also showed you, I started one of the small shuttlings. And it's the mini mystery number four or something and i bought the kits from european cross stitch company in the states but i've also bought some kits from um yeah i haven't been buying that many things um hopkins Hopkins Hobbies? Jesus. A lost name. But this is the center. And yeah, I'm working the frame, I guess. Very, very beautiful. <coughs> and you know, Chatelaines have all the beautiful flosses, silk threads, cotton threads, DMCs, and you have crystals and beads and everything so you have special you know normal cross stitches you have back stitching you have specialty stitches but follow the instructions you have youtube you can always watch youtube for how you make the different stitches don't be afraid get a small one if you want to try and if you are a bit scared of the big mandalas but don't and then I was one of those crystal members in Pain Free Crafts uh, cross stitch group where you pay, I think it is 12 pounds a month. And after six months, you get a voucher and you can go buy a kit, which I did a kit. And I thought I was going to get the stitch along kit. But then I was like three months uh, late. So, it, it, you know, again, you know, the antis anticipation and excitement and all, and all that was gone. So I was back to thinking about the feast, which I really, really like. Um, but then 
she released some of the unsealy, unsealy, unsealy court collections from Jasmine Beckett Griffith. And I know Heaven and Earth has two of them. I, I think they're so cool. I love her art. Um, and we could make some wishes in the Pain Free Croft group. So I mentioned the Unsealy and she released three. Sarah released three. And I was right away deciding that one of the kits, because again, I would love to buy all of them really. But uh, since Sarah is in the UK, <laughs> it's just uh, not that, yeah, I can't buy all of them because of that, unfortunately. But um, I was debating on which on Sealy I should get. And this was just around when the horrible, horrible war in the Ukraine started. So I chose war. And it's such a powerful piece of art. Um, and Sarah makes such great kits and she's charting these pieces so great. They're like only, only 400 by 500 stitches. So they're not huge, but the, the detail in them is still really, really great. So I will show you a closer picture. And yes, I did a small start. Um, so the good thing about Sarah's kits is that she, she tells you which DMC color it is. So if I would ever get that far on this design and run, run out of a color, it's okay, I can still, you know, get the missing DMC myself. This is on 28 count. Again, it was cheaper, so that's why I got the 28 count plus. It's a very dark design, so I thought it would be great. And this, this is my mare, mare start. Just 200 stitches, um, <clears throat> but you know, a very small design and it's going to look just freaking great. And how am I stitching this? Yes, I'm stitching it, I'm 10 stitching with two threads on 28 count. So I know it's bulky awareness, but I was thinking it's not, um, it's not like, you know, max colors or anything. So it should be doable in my you know, eyes. Um, yes, and I'm, I'm doing it, um, the Ninja needle. And since I'm stitching a max color super size now, and it seems to work pretty fine, but it's on 25 count, so I don't know. But I made that start. It would be really nice to, you know, at least get a page. So I'm looking forward to get back to this nice kit and you get it in this organza bag. And she, I think this is so sweet. So plenty of cards. I like uh, the way she has made those holes. And uh, there is the black comes in a little skin or hank, I guess you call it. And um, I like to have, I like needles. <laughs> so I got the, she's doing this sweet little booklet and she puts the needles in there. And oh, there is some chocolate I haven't eaten yet. And yeah. I don't think I got a needle minder for this, but, and I didn't get a project bag. I wanted, but I, I needed to keep the money a bit short. So 
So that's one of my purchases. Um, so I know that was a full coverage, but anyway, it was a new one and it's not, she's not on my to get back to, maybe I should, oh, I don't know. Maybe I should need to add that. We'll see my Mirabilia. <laughs> this Mirabilia, oh my God. So many things has happened on Lady of Mystery. Maybe it's fitting for the name Lady of Mystery. Yes, the fabric was too small, so I had to take it off my scroll frame and I'm stitching in hand the little stuff I have made, but this is her and she's just very, very beautiful. But she's causing me so much trouble. So I'm a bit Mirabilia off at the moment. Um, yeah, this, they're, they're all, this whole part here is like one uh, thread down or up. It's, it's, you wouldn't see, notice. It's not gonna affect, since it's a frame going around her, it's not gonna affect anything as long as I stitch from this way and down. So I can't start from the bottom and go up, then they won't match. Um, but yeah, I just, uh, and I hate stitching these kinds of things. There is no rhyme and reason in which way you should go in which direction. So, uh, I don't know when it, she's going to get finished, but there is so little left and her hair. I mean, I could at least stitch her hair. Maybe I should do that. Yes. She's stitched on... 28 count hand dyed fabric by Crafty Kitten. We're not going to talk about Crafty Kitten. I don't know what happened. Why I always use the Yarn Tree fabric calculator. So I don't know why it's going to fit, but you know, that inch around it's not going to be the right, correct way. So I don't know why that is. But I did put in a few stitches in that. Kids. Then my dear friend Becca, Rebecca in Sweden, um, Stitchy Becca, Becca stitching uh, on floss tube, made this beautiful project bag and she gave me this sweet handmade card and this very beautiful needle minder which is so nice i don't want to use it i'm afraid to lose it but in this project bag i have blackbirds blackbird designs what remains is love and i got it from traditional stitches in canada when it was limited edition it is not anymore because it was re-released re on in Nashville in March this year. It's a very beautiful piece and the story behind it and the message behind it is very beautiful. And I'm still stitching it on a 40 count hand dyed fabric. So it's very, very tight. And I'm using silk threads. And when I see it now, I just want to get back to stitching it because I just love it. This is my progress. I, I don't know. I'm stitching in hand, so I'm not using any scroll frames or anything. I'm just, you know, like rolling the fabric like this. And then I hold it. And I'm using the sewing method. And ugh. So much and it's so fast stitching and down here it is satin stitches and the um, where is that all the, the little flowers is this um, 
it's called Smyrna, Smyrna cross. Very easy to make. So yeah, what remains is love. And it's a very small sampler. This is like the, the bottom right and this is the top right. So maybe it's not halfway, but a third maybe. So it goes pretty fast. But what is difficult with this one is a very tight weave. Um, and I notice in my, I get tired. So I got myself a pair of magnifiers <clears throat> because I'm going to try to stitch on more on 46 count. This sampler there is on 46 count and I want to try 56 so, or 55, the very, very tiny. I'm getting that. I bought a pair of glasses, a magnifying glasses after watching Fox and Rabbit a while ago, they recommended this and this was like $20. And you know, it's just amazing. And my eyes, they get so big and I see the thing so clearly and easy um, when you uh, stitch. So it's like, I'm gonna be able to stitch on 25 count and 80 count for a long time, even when I get old. Yeah, very good investment. Bought it on Amazon. So it's going to be a little bit of haul in mixed in with everything. I hope you're okay with that. I did, I got the recharge, rechargeable ones. Um, the, I'll get back. You get all kind of one, two, three, five different magnifying glasses. And if you rather want like an elastic thing to have around your head, you can get that. <clears throat> I, I like these, they fit me well. Um, and to, to clean them, yes, I'm going to show you. For also for you who find 25 count and 80, 25, 80, oh, 28 count scary. And you can turn them on. There's a very bright light. But I don't need that. I'm fine with my stitchy light. But the battery pack is here in the front. And if you... Let's see, can I do it like this? Yes. So you have all that weight here and it's laying on your nose like this. So if you get the ones where you just put batteries in, you get that extra weight here. And I wouldn't recommend might recommend that if you stitch, you know, for hours. So that is also why I got the rechargeable. Yeah, oh, wait a second. The recharge, rechargeable uh, glasses. I think you have to pay a little bit extra. Maybe ten dollars more. Ten dollars? No, 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 no. Not even ten dollars. No, they're almost the same price. It's just I couldn't get these on Amazon in Sweden. I had to get them from I don't know if it was the UK or the American Amazon but that wouldn't be a problem if you don't live in Sweden anyway so <clears throat> I got those so stitching what remains is love is no problem at all I got the whole kit from traditional stitches so this is the hand dyed silk threads and they smell so nice and they're so soft and they are just beautiful. And you have them on this floss uh, ring and they have this floss keep with the finished design in it. Love it. It felt good talking with y'all again. So, but I'm having vacation. It's my last week before I go back to work. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. And then we had Nashville market, the big market in the beginning of March. And I'm a great plum 
great Plum Street sampler fan. And one of them, one of the designs they released was like Nashville only, I guess for six months, maybe, I don't know, but it will be released for everyone later on. I can't imagine it, it wouldn't be, but some of the designs they just release for the market and then you have to wait a while before you can get it again. But I got then this one, which is This Is The Day with the pink house with all the bricks in it. And it's so, so beautiful. It says, this is the day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm not religious in any way, but I like the words very much. You have this, you can hardly see it, but some of the goats, I guess. Oh, I love, I love Plum Street. It's so nice, simple and nice. And I got the whole kit for it and I started it um, and I just made a floss card of my own and put all the DMC threads in here and the specialty threads on a ring of its own <clears throat> and the fabric it's a 36 count, I know that. It's a linen and this is my progress. I started in the middle and I started with a house, of course, yes. I think it's a fox and rabbit. Uh, mm -mm -mm. No, it's a R and R reproductions. Is it really? No, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's whatever they had on traditional stitches kit. But yeah, so it's very, very soothing. I don't need my glasses for the 36 count, but it helps. I don't get as tired and I can sit and stitch for a longer time. I also stitch in hand with this. So it's one thread over two. And then I put a bag to the side with all the non full coverage things I wanted to get back to and stitch and start. And I haven't done all that, but I'm getting there. And since I'm revisiting everything now, I feel like stitching all the things again. Here is the Moonlight Sampler. This was released in Epo Epo. Um, there was another kind of market in the end of August last year and there will be one this year also and this was like one of the big favorites the blue flower design and it's really nice I decided however to stitch it I'm not I haven't stitched it I haven't started it I wanted just to start it on a blue fabric so I got stratus by a color and cotton and it's going to look amazing on this one. And it's a 40 count. So again, very tight, but no worries. I have the glasses. So uh, yeah, and some threads. I don't have the DMC threads in this, no. And then there was a, uh, one of those, it's also Plum Street Sampler. Um, special, I don't know if it's called Special Edition. It was only one store in Australia. I'm not sure if, it's, if it was Australia or if it was the U United States, but it was only that store who, who were allowed to to sell the design and I saw it in Brenda and the cereal stitcher cereal starter um, this happy morning the black version I got uh, and again I got the whole kit the cool thing here is the fabric is fox and rabbits design 
again. I got this all the threads. Oh, nice. And the oh gorgeous fabric. Yes, it's dark. But again, I have the glasses, so I'm not worried. <clears throat> I got that. Yes, as I said, I saw it on floss tube, and then I found the store. This happy morning, you can get it in the black version, but you can also get it in a light background version. And then the house, it looks the colorway is a little bit different. So really nice. I did I say that I love. Plum Street. Yes, I do. So that was that. It needs to be, be started. What do we have here? Yes, we have Dog's Declaration by Ink Circle. I have the fabric. I have the threads. It's Veldani threads. And it's a picture of this plus fabric. So all new. Almost everything. Um... It's a 36 count, so yeah, I've never done picture this plus on that. I need to start that. So this is my self-kitted Russian window by Chatelaine. Very beautiful. I managed to get all the things for it. Um, I wonder if I only need the fabric, but I think I have fabric for that. And then we have another Plum Street. Um, it's the Always Remember. I've shown you this before. Always Remember. Also need to start. And what made me really you know, curious about this was the fabric, which is also a fox and rabbit. <clears throat> this color here, it looks different in the picture. This is much lighter than in the picture, but uh, I'm very eager to get them started. So I should. and all the threads. I have everything. So it's just, you know, get started thing. I have a finish, a small finish. And I don't know if I ever got to show you, show you the finish. It's one of the um, sheep virtues, friendship. I haven't put, there is going to be like a charm. So I haven't put that on yet. And I have like the finish, finishing fabric for it. It's going to be like a pillow. I don't know. I'm not good at finishing. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but, but this was my finish. And I actually did something. I switched, switched out the white thread to whisper thread. So they're a little bit fluffy. I need to fluff it up a little bit though but it wasn't so bad to work with so i'm very happy about that finish i think it took me two days to stitch <laughs> so it was pretty small so th that was like the cross stitching now i have a little bit of haul i'm going to show you and maybe i have a little giveaway as well let's take a sip I got one of these corner gauges I have wanted for very long. They are really good. First of all, they're made of wood. They're beautiful. It is, uh, yeah, you can feel, feel the picture here, the engraved, it's engraved, it smells nice. So. And here you can see it says three inches, two and a half, and two. So you put this at the corner of your fabric, and then you decide if you, how much, um, 
how many inches you want around your finished I don't know words I can't remember anyway so three inches is perfect so you don't have to count if you're like have this big piece of easy guide and you're gonna start your full coverage piece and you're like I want three inches and you put it in the corner of the fabric and then you put your needle here and then you start you don't have to think about anything so I like this these and also for you know the smaller you know samplers or whatever <clears throat> and then I spoiled myself with a pair of cojona cojona scissors cojonas and I do not regret buying these scissors I didn't get a special color or anything I didn't care I just got something from Etsy which was in Europe and I found a place in Germany and I didn't know that a pair of scissors could be so nice I have bought Fiskars, Fiskars scissors historic scissors I'm like scissors whatever why do you need these expensive ones but I'm telling you there's a difference so highly recommend them very beautiful they come up with this in this box it's packed inside that white fabric and the very sweet light wood uh, box it comes comes in that if you want to gift yourself with, with something or tell your partner to get you something and you don't have a pair of these I could highly recommend them I have this bag or box with some haul a lot from Nashville don't know where I have how many is released so I'm collecting the a year in the woods I have the fox I have the swan this is the bear so this is number six but I know I think I have seven and eight coming from Canada and I know I have the other ones I just don't know where I put them they might be in that box uh, so Plum Street Sampler again they made one of those releases which only which is only sold by fox and rabbit and I think they still have some of them it's called spring moon and I know that um, was it summer school or was it it was this, uh, it was a cross stitch retreat in the states now in June where Paulette the designer from Plum Street samplers uh, was a guest and I know she released the summer moon for them to get um, and I guess maybe maybe next year this the the summer moon might be uh, released for the public um, <clears throat> I know last summer she released live on little and I just love that design and I know that it was released now this summer for everyone else to purchase so I did. but it, it's not here yet so I think the summer moon will, will come but this is spring moon and fox and rabbit has it got a few mirabilias I got the Cinderella one of my absolute favorites I decided to get it before it gets out of print if it does and then one of the older ones Giggle in the snow number 33 something I would never stitch but since I'm trying to collect them all and then I again shouted out a unicorn in a group and I got Sleeping Beauty for 15 pounds I think so a little bit water damaged here but considering what it costs otherwise I'm very pleased with it and I have some fabric here for something yes it's 
I'm sorry if I touched the microphone. <clears throat> it is 55 count. And uh, yeah, with my glasses, I'm going to challenge myself with uh, one of the Hands Across the Sea samplers. I'm just waiting for the threads. I think it's called the uh, Anne Morris uh, sampler. It's a small one with just five different colors. And then I have some maple syrup and I actually think this is for the Moonlight sampler. Here we have the ferret from A Year in the Woods. And then I've got, um, why is there only one charm there? I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to also get the um, uh, little um, cheap virtues with the charm. So I'm getting one every now and then. I think there's a total of 12 of them. Then I wanted all the Salem sisters from Plum Street. It's her early uh, releases. Uh, so it's just text. I don't know if I would ever stitch them, but this is Sa Salem one. Is it okay if I keep and keep them in the plastic? Salem Sisters one, and this is Salem Sisters two. Oh, that's Clary. Sisters of mine, yon rope shall they twine round our necks till be gnarled and a uh, squeezing yet we have no fear for our justice for our justice draws near where they're going it won't be a uh, freezing yeah and sisters salem three then there is esther blackwood which is a hands across the sea sampler it's a special edition for the traditional uh, traditional stitches so if you want this chart before they're out it won't be reprinted anymore so go over there and get it so I got it just you know in case I feel like it's a very sweet sampler with a lot of different motives so they have a big stitch along now this year I didn't join but I wanted the, the chart anyway and then I got myself another blackbird sudden I just love I don't love all the blackbirds, but some of them I like. So I'm not, I'm not one of those, you know, buy all the blackbirds. No, but I think this is my heart can rest. I think it's so sweet and simple and just my heart can rest. And um, I know the fabric is coming. I don't have it yet and all the threads for it. They have very simple uh, patterns, you know, it's with the, uh, there's, you know, some instructions and uh, yeah, it's very nice. And I, I think there's a lot of the um, blackbirds that are reprinted which is uh, great so you don't have to pay a fortune on the second hand market now we get to the big nashville stuff not so much don't i got some this is not nashville i got some 103 swa soy swa doll share swa i got the 103s and it's for Anne. Gardner 1763 is one of the hands across the sea samplers with a lot of the satin stitches which I wanted to uh, train on 46 count with satin stitches before I start you know Sarah Brasher which is just satin stitches all over so I had a thread pack for that and um, yeah I think I have the fabric so I, th I think it's just finished blackbirds and I can start this oh this was like also just a Nashville release I was like I want that now so I pre-ordered everything before Nashville and I was very lucky to get 
everything I ordered and the cross stitch collector was one of them. I thought it was very fitting <coughs> for me to get. Um, oh my God, it's so small. This is the finished. It looks mirrored. If it is, I'm sorry, it says cross stitch collector. And it's the primitive, primitive hair design. And she just makes so cool things. And this is the little piece of fabric. And there's all the threads. And then you're supposed to mount it on this painted wooden board. I was very eager to get all of it. It would be nice to finish it, you know, and have it on my wall or something. Why am I knitting when I need to stitch all these things, right? Plum Street also released another uh, stack series and it was the um, Corgi Caboodle. Very sweet. So I got that one as well. And then I was missing the Polar Pack. So I got that. And here is number four of A Year in the Woods. And here's number three, the rabbit, Jack Rabbit. The holiday card of 2021. I love alpacas and llamas. And me and my friend at work were having a lot of fun with these animals. You know, sending TikToks and everything to each other and surprising each other with gifts. And I don't think she watches my floss tube. I don't know if she knows that I have one. But I would really like... <laughs> to stitch one of these for her. So darn cute. And yeah, I just, I just love it. The blue flower, she's making so many great designs, really. Expo, it's called Expo in the end of August. The, and in March, beginning of March, it's Nashville. Yes. So I need to stay out of Expo this year I'd, I shouldn't buy anything. This Mirabilia was on sale. Uh, it's Lady Mirabilia and the charm is in here as well. I didn't know there is this is a charm. This is threads. Yes I got threads um, silk and color threads for my big big unicorn. Salem remembered. You guys remember he was lost in mail and was traveled all around the world until it came to me. But I'm still missing two colors. So, and no, I think I have the fabric actually. I think that's also like you when you order uh, all the things and then you get a part of the order and then there's some on back order. I know I'm going to get all the things, it's not that, but it's, you know, to have everything remembered in your <laughs> head is, yeah, it's not so easy. Then I got the new flannel and flower fabric, fabric from Fox and Rabbit, which they released in Nashville. And it's this piece and it is for my Salem Remembered. So I thought it would be really nice to, um, to try out the new uh, hand-dyed uh, fabrics with one of my unicorns and I really like Fox and Rabbit. So this is Newcastle, it's uh, 40 count. Should I really show you all the yarn as well now? Maybe I should do that another day. Wanted some of the embroidery needles with, there's a ball point. I, I can't see that, but it's tiny, tiny, tiny. And it is for those 46 and 56 count fabrics. And then I have some of this Krennic for some reason, I don't remember, but it will say in the papers what it's for. Then I couldn't resist Autumn Hill by Rosewood Manor. They have 
Winter Hill and Summer Hill and Spring Hill, but this really caught my eye and really, really beautiful. They also have great patterns, so easy to read with good instructions. And then they released this beautiful sampler, Crosshaven Sampler. It's also a Rosewood Manor. And there's some birds in there. Really nice. I love this one. And I think they always, I think they stitch on 28 count. No, 32 count. So it's two threads over two. And then I got uh, our Heart Remembers. It's a Blackbird's design book with uh, different designs. And I think, you know, everyone from Nashville who ordered this has already shown the book. So I don't have to show you all. But what caught my eye was this design down here, which I think is really cool. And finally, I got another blue flower because she just makes such cool designs and I would really like to stitch it but we'll have to wait but this is um moggy moggy manor and you have all the animals and you have these beautiful birch trees I think it's called birch I don't know but it's so sweet a quiet hour beneath the trees a little whispering l lazy bees no a quiet hour beneath the trees a little whispering lazy breeze a perfect sky Moggy Manor is so so sweet I love it really really love it and because I love Moggy Manor so much I want to share with all of you and this was supposed to happen in March April now it's happening in the summer but I have a second one a second Mo Moggy Manor the blue flower uh, it's a beautiful 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 um, design um, there's a lot of different threads used but mainly it's DMC. So yes, um, if you want to be able to, to get it, um, you will have to be over 18 since I'm going to ask for your address. Um, you have to be a subscriber and make sure it's uh, your settings. Your settings is public so I can see that you're subscribing to my channel. I will, you know, check it out and leave a comment um, Leave a comment. It's a very summery, springy um, feeling about it, I think. I'm not going to ask you to say anything special. Um, maybe um, you should put in Moggy Manor. M-O-G-G-I-E-M-A-N-O-R. Moggy Manor, you have to put that in in the comments if you would like to win this, if you don't have already have bought this beautiful design. And um, I will uh, choose a winner. Um, let's see, we have a Monday, so Monday in two weeks. And if I don't use, you know, release a floss tube, then I will just make a short video or, um, make uh you know a post under my community on my floss tube channel so yeah lucky you if you win it maybe we could have a start along it would be nice that was all the cross stitching and all the haul and uh yeah i don't think i have anything else oh, I'm, I'm exhausted and another hour has passed i hope you enjoyed 
all of this cross stitch madness and still I have been mainly knitting so I have a huge pile with yarn over here I don't know if I'm going to show that I will do a yarn pod <laughs> I will do because this is going to take forever um, so if you want to take a look at the shawls I've knitted I finished and all the yarn I've bought and the gidgets I'm using then um, there's a yard pod I guess <clears throat> coming so I just want to finish by saying that I'm totally totally overwhelmed with everyone who has contacted me uh, by mail floss tube instagram messenger facebook you know so many of you has uh you know sent me a message asking if i'm doing okay and why you know asking why i'm not doing a floss tube and all this and i wasn't anticipating this when i just started I, I didn't plan on not doing floss tube it just I guess it was too much I I can't explain it but somehow I needed a break from floss tube and the more time that passed the more relieved I got it's it sounds so negative it, I don't mean it like that but it, it is still that if you make the floss tube you know I put the um, um, how do you say uh, you know I expect myself to at least stitch something and buy something to show you guys and share with you guys and if you if I haven't been stitching for a month it feels weird you know what should I talk about in my floss tube and I don't want to go and buy all the things because I think it's fun. I really do think it's great to show the the haul. I love watching haul and I love to show haul, but I I seriously cannot afford all of those things. As I said before, I don't know how all the other floss tubers do, how they can week after week or two weeks after two weeks keep on showing kits after kits and patterns and new releases and fabrics and project bags and everything they buy and get I don't know if they get everything for free or if they're getting a lot of money from YouTube I, I don't know but I cannot and to protect myself I need to step step back and also not watch floss tube so we'll see how much floss tube I will be making but as I said there are so many of you who has contacted me and I did not expect that and in some way I understand that I too have a little bit of responsibility to to give um, since I started the floss tube and I've been regularly putting out YouTube videos and I've been getting friends and enjoying being in the community and I don't want to not be there absolutely not. I do really do want to be a part of the community and um, so I need to somehow you know do some floss tubes for you guys so I'm doing fine yes work is you know not killing me but it sucks out everything and there's so much more uh, with me and you know just the mental part which is a struggle from time to time and um, it's not always you know uh, so great standing here then yeah whatever I don't know how to explain it but but I did not expect it and I'm so grateful and thankful for all of you guys who who keeps watching and who wants to watch I it's very strange to think that someone is looking forward so much to 
just listening listening to me rambling or looking at what I've been stitching and um, but it, it's wonderful to you know have stitchy friends out there and you are what makes floss tube and stitching fun so I'm very grateful and I want to say, say thank you from the bottom of my heart and um, for the beautiful rack I got the other day you know you are I forgot to ask if I'm allowed to mention you by name but thank you so much it's very appreciated um, so I think I'm pretty much active on Instagram so if you think I'm not showing so much on Flosstube you can always head over there and say hi or tag me in a one of your whip um, pictures if you want to share I would like to 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 see what you're doing please do that I'm Linda uh, what do you call that slash in the bottom you have a certain name for it it's Linda 144 hobbies you will find me there so that's all <laughs> I will see you in two weeks for the giveaway don't say giveaway in the comments by the way um and i will make a yarn pod for the people who wants to see knitting and crocheting and uh, i hope i will see you soon have a wonderful summer don't melt away don't forget to bring the water and drink and i will see you soon bye